the riser base, or whatever it is, is finished printing. This is the Babo Duo. The print is really, really nice. I don't know if it was the filament I used or the design. We just need some M3 screws. I found eBay was the cheapest place to get these. I actually meant to buy 30 millimeter long ones because you can cut it down to the size you need. Basically you have all the different sizes of screws that way. I printed my riser in PLA and everything is held together using M3 countersunk screws, which I thought was quite flimsy when assembling it, but once it's on the printer, it's fine. There it is. I have the TPU parts. When I get all of the other stuff on top here, it's gonna be impossible to grab the spool of filament that's on the back. I've got some longer LED cob lights. This design has a little cable groove. Feed the USB cable through nicely. So this is a cob LED strip, which means it's got like a higher density of the LEDs per meter. And it has this kind of covering all the way around, but I don't think they're quite as robust or versatile as the, as the normal LEDs. Problem is, is the USB there at the front. This lead is here at the back. So this is the final part of the top of the drawer. Before I make kind of any changes to this electronically to control the USB lights, I just want to say that I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not telling you how to do this, I'm just showing you what I've done. I literally don't have a clue. I'm guessing, so. I actually attempted to enable both the old light and the new LED strip by using a relay. The idea was that once the printer provided power to the original light, the relay would switch and then enable the LED strip to be powered using the extra USB. So these new LED lights are connected via USB power here uh, and then the wire comes out here, the red wire goes through the relay and then they both come down and connect here and then the other half of the relay is connected via these two wires which at the moment is connected to this power supply that will mimic this wire which is the printer's 5 volt output normally to these LEDs and that allows me to switch on and off as normal. So this is the test. So I just need to switch this power supply on and hopefully you'll hear the click of the relay and the lights should turn on. Yes! I've reached the final test point. The wires that originally go to the original LED are soldered. It's just a case of doing one last test to make sure all the joints are fine. So here we go. No, they haven't come on. So I think the problem is when this LED is attached and switched on, it can't pro provide enough voltage to power the LED and to power this. So. I'm going to try and disconnect this original light and just provide the circuit to here and see if that works. This is the final test. Is this attempt three, four? Let's just call it four. And this, I've completely removed the use of the original LED strips. It's just going to be this one. And I'm hoping that will provide enough voltage now that it'll turn it on when I click the light button. So here we go. Yes! Nice, can you, I don't know if you can hear the click. So I can remotely control the whole LED strip 
So this whole thing was kind of pointless. If you know a way around this, then please, please comment. I'd love to hear your ideas. But in reality, you can just rewire the USB wire for your LED lights to go straight to here rather than to here. <laughs> this is before the lights are added. This is after the lights are added.